Okay, let's tackle a question I see all the time, saw it twice today. I get it asked numerous times a week. What should my Facebook budget be for an advertising program? Clients ask me this, and based off our programs, I'm able to give them examples like this. But I also hear it a lot from other agencies and other Facebook marketers. Now, it all comes down to understanding a couple metrics. Number one, what your average check is. Number two, how much it's gonna cost you get an opt-in. And the third part, the most important, what percentage of your opt-ins will walk in and do business with you, whether it's buying something online or coming to a restaurant or buying a car. You've got to understand your average spend or profit, whatever you're measuring on in your business, your average cost per opt-in and your redemption percentages. So I'm going to use a restaurant in this case because I do a lot of those so I can talk from experience. If I have a restaurant that has an average check of $20, now let me get real quick before I go to this far. The reason the Facebook spend is really important is I use the example, it's great to have a Ferrari, but you want to be able to put gas in the Ferrari. Then if you put a gallon of gas in it, you might get around the block. But if you put 10 gallons of gas in it, you get to drive around town and have a great time. That's what happens in a lot of marketing campaigns. They're underfunded. It's not that they don't work. It's that you don't fund them enough to get the right ROI. And I'm going to show you this example and show you why. So let's say we've got a $20 average check. And I know we get a dollar opt-in on an average basis, long-term in the restaurant business. Now in your business, you might need to do some testing or consult with friends in the business, agencies that do that for a living, so forth. I know we can get about 25% of those people to walk into the restaurant and spend that $20. So if you do the math, that means that one out of every four, that means it's costing me $4 per redemption. So if I spend 400 bucks and I get 400 opt-ins, and 100 of those people, or 25%, walk in the restaurant, cost me $4 per person. So if I take that down low, and I look at this, and I tell our clients, for example, if the retainer spend, let's say, on an average is $1,000 for the program, for whatever the type of marketing program you're running is, or you're buying, whatever you're doing, and then the Facebook spend, let's just use for this example, is 500 Now, I look at the advertising three ways. Number one, any advertisement has value. You're not doing it for today. You're doing it for next year, a year down the road, but you don't judge it off of that. Radio and TV live off of that. Nobody knows if people actually hear or watch the commercials and come into the restaurants or come into the dealerships and do stuff. There's a lot of assumptions. There's value in that though, from a standpoint that the ad is running, it's reaching people. For about 500 bucks, we see a reach of about 30,000 people and about 1,500 engagements meaning 1,500 people engaged in your ad. There's a value there. I put about 25%. So if a client comes to us and says, how do you rank things? I put 25% of what we spend on your behalf is going to the ad value for down the road. Number two is the database value. Is the fact that you have a database to talk to more often and next month and the month after that is huge. Great example is there's 75% of the people that don't redeem that first month. We just had a client that had 300 people redeem in the last 45 days that opted in three months ago, four months ago. They came in, we are able to see that they came in. So there's a value in having them on the list, just not right now for a lot of them. And the third part, the most important, is what you wanna know, the sales. So 50%, so if you can get to a number of where 50% of the money you spend can be allocated and looked at an ROI report, based on what it brings in. So in this case, if we do fund the Facebook budget with $500 and we know it's gonna cost us $4 per redemption, that's 125 customers are gonna walk through the door, spend 20 bucks, that's $2,500. So if that customer in this case would say, okay, $750 is what I spent on my sales, my 50% metric, and I got 2,500 in return, that's a little over three to one, that's not crushing it, but they're not losing money. The goal is to obviously grow that as the time goes on. But another example to look at that is let's say this Facebook budget was 100 and you have the same cost factors above. And so I take this to 1100 and I got four. So that means I'm going to have 25 times 20. Got to use a calculator to make sure my math is right. 500 bucks. Is that right? 104. Yep. So it's $500 in sales. So now I just did, let's say 1100. So 50% of that's 650. So I got 650 spend with 500 in sales. You can see, I just put one gallon of gas in a Ferrari and drove it up the street and ran out of gas. 
But on the other end, let's say we make this $1,000. Let's say we understand our metrics and we understand the cost to get a person to walk in the door. So now we've got a $2,000 monthly spend total. And so down here, I've got a thousand and a thousand bucks divided by four is 250. So now I got 250 times 20. I've got 5,000 in sales. So now I've got a 2,000 cost factor at 50%, a thousand. Now I have a five to one return. So it all comes down to understanding your metrics. Now, if this is being seen by somebody that isn't an agency that places their own marketing or is going to only have the Facebook spend. Here's what I would caution you at. Just like I could open a restaurant next week. I'm going to guess I'm probably not anywhere close to as good an operator as a client of mine. I'm not as good a chef. Nowhere close. Actually, there's a lot of things I won't be able to do as well. Well, it's the same thing here. I can promise you that 99% of restaurants out there can't do the program and ads that we do to this effectiveness. So that dollar opt-in is probably closer to four dollars per opt-in, and those redemptions, twenty-five percent, you don't have the data to see what's going to drive Facebook like an agency does. So that might be fifteen percent. So you can see that you're going to make up and lose and not having somebody run it. You might not have that thousand-dollar retainer, but not having that's going to cost you three to four times the results. At the end of the day, it's better to hire professionals to do what they do. Just like I heard a, a speaker recently talk about. He doesn't want to have a dentist that's learning how to do Facebook ads. He wants a dentist that's learning how to be a dentist. Just like I want faith, I want restaurant owners to work with that are learning how to deliver a better dining experience and a better customer service. And it goes across any industry. So if you were to do it on your own, yes, you're going to have that retainer part gone, but you're also going to change these metrics. But at the end of the day, if you're looking for the answer to what your Facebook budget should be, you need to know these three items, average sale, Dot cost per opt-in and the percentage it's going to take. Now you go down here. The reason that's important is you want to make sure you understand your ROI. You don't want to spend a thousand to get a thousand. If you're willing to spend a thousand to get fifteen on your business, fifteen hundred, great. Understand what it is. If you need your thousand to be four thousand, great. Understand what it is. That's all I got. Hope that makes sense. I will see you around.